Welcome to this week's Rogers McKee YouTube video. In this week's video, we're continuing the mistakes that people make when they work in recruitment. And this week is episode number three. Let's go. Welcome to this week's Rogers McKee YouTube video. In this week's episode, we're gonna explore the third mistake that I feel that recruiters make when working within the industry. This week is aimed more at 360 consultants. Um, so if you're not in the industry at the minute, that effectively means that you eat what you kill. So you go out and win the work, you provide the client relationships, you go and find the candidate, you put the two together and you make the placement. So you do the whole 360 recruitment process. Um, and like I say, this is aimed at those people that do all, all facets of the job, if you like. And this is something that is quite easy to get wrong, um, especially when you first start out. So um, when you get into recruitment, um, you've got no jobs on the board and you need to get some jobs. So from an early early point, you, you're on the phone, you're building relationships with people and you're trying to win work. What is the mistake that I'm referring to? It's consistency across all aspects of the job. And it's making sure that you're consistently doing every element of the job. So obviously in, in your first period of working in recruitment, you might not be speaking to candidates very much. Wrong approach. You need to be generating leads off candidates and you need to be gaining market information. So you need to put time aside to speak to candidates. But you've got no jobs for your candidates. So you need to put time aside to do business development and secure opportunities for them. And what invariably happens, and I see this quite a lot, predominantly in permanent recruitment um, and, and consultants that we've, we've worked with in permanent that recruitment, that they'll get a plethora of jobs in, um, in, a, in a few week period. Um, and then all their attention goes to resourcing candidates and they stop doing the business development side of things because they've got a board full of jobs that they need to find candidates for. And what happens is they find the candidates for the jobs, they deliver on the jobs, whether good, bad or indifferent, they get interviews, they get placements. But when that cycle has come to an end, they're back to square one. There's no jobs on the board because they stopped doing the business development that got them the jobs in the first place and um, because they were so focused on delivering for the for the jobs that they got now i accept that if you've got a board full of jobs you need to put time aside to resource and to deliver those for your clients all, all i'm suggesting is don't put all of your time aside to deliver you will probably flip your day so the majority of your day may be spent on, on candidate work and securing the candidates for the jobs that you've got, but you still need to put an element of time aside to secure new opportunities to keep that wheel turning. Because otherwise, and, and we have this quite regularly with, with new perm consultants, uh, month one, they don't bill because it's the, the, the winning work, they get jobs in, they start to find candidates. Month two, they make a placement, but they've stopped doing the business development because they were delivering. So then month three, they're back down uh, to not billing. So they're out getting work. Month four, they bill. And it's it's, it's a boom and bust type approach. Um, so very much having a focus on every aspect of the job and consistently doing all elements of the job um, will, will help you be more successful. It'll definitely help you um, reduce the peaks and troughs. You're always going to have good months and, and not so good months, but they'll be closer together um, if you're doing every element of the job. And it stops those months where you don't get any revenue on the board because you've got no jobs on the board. Um, so even if you've got a board full of jobs and your natural instinct is, I need to spend all my day speaking to candidates and finding candidates for these roles so that I can deliver the, on these jobs that I've spoken to the clients about, that's all well and good you still need to put a, a proportion of your day aside to new business development or to nurturing existing, existing relationships and securing further opportunities. Because the last thing you want is to get to the end of the month, have delivered on all your jobs, and then have a blank board with no jobs on, because that's when you get into the boom and bust, men, not mentality, but boom and bust cycle of recruitment. So lesson number three, or mistake number three that recruitment consultants make is not being consistent across every aspect of the job. Hope that's helped, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, feel free to put some comments uh, to the video and we'll come back to you. But please do subscribe to the channel. We're currently trying to grow the subscriber base. The YouTube algorithm loves subscribers, so please subscribe to the channel. It'll go out to more people uh, and, and a wider audience will get to see the videos. And we'll see you next week for mistake number four.